What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Barnes. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Boxing Live, reactive. And, uh, let's talk a bit of UFC 210, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Elbow stowing. Yeah. So let's talk about UFC 210. Overall, it was a pretty good card. It was a pretty good card. Uh, we had some controversy, and that's really what we're going to spend most of the time talking about is the top two, top two fights. Uh, quick shouts out to Patrick Cote, who's calling a career after after a loss to uh, Pitbull Alvarez. Uh, good fight. Patrick Cote's been a good fighter, man. You got to remember, he's fought some tough guys. He fought Anderson for the belt. Uh, blew out his knee during the fight. He's been a 175. I mean, he's been a 185, 170. You know what I'm saying? This dude's been a factor. Been, in a, been, been with UFC since, I think, like UFC 50. So he's been with him for a long time. For a real long time. Um, so he's calling it a career. Uh, so shouts out to him. Salute to Patrick Cote. He's been a real he's been a deep, been a real good fighter. Uh now let's get to the man. Let's get to the let's get to the main let's get to the main card, man. Starting out with Chris Weidman versus Gegard Musasi. Uh this was a this was a good fight. Gegard looked like he had, was starting to Get ahead. Chris Weidman took him down a lot in the first round and kind of controlled him. Uh, but Gegard, it was a good fight, man. This had all the potential of a really good fight, and then the crazy happened. Uh, what Gegard had Weidman in a, in a, I can't, I don't know the name of the position, but he had him. He was holding him in a grappling position, and uh, Weidman had one hand down on the mat, as you often see they do. To uh, to prevent the cells from getting kneed in the face, but the new rules said that that's that one hand down doesn't uh prevent you from getting kneed to the face. You can still get kneed to the face, and on top of that, Gegard lifted his hands up off the mat so he could throw the knees to the face. So it wasn't. There's no way it was an illegal knee, but they called it an illegal knee. Okay, so then the referee stopped the fight, gave Chris Wadman five minutes. Then they went to look at the replay, which you're not allowed to do. There's no instant replay in the UFC. So they went to go look at the uh, instant replay. Come back in and say it wasn't an illegal knee. Can you continue? You can't continue. You're knocked out. Fight's over. Gegard wins the fight. Craziest ending ever. Controversy everywhere. Gegard wasn't happy. Weidman wasn't happy. Crowd wasn't happy. Dana wasn't happy. Nobody was happy. Terrible fight. Terrible way to end the fight. Terrible way to end the fight. So many people to blame, but most of the New York, most of the referee and, and the New York State Athletic Commission for letting it go on. I'm going to just leave it right there. So, uh, yeah, that was crazy. Gegard, and then in the post in the, in the post fight press conference, Gegard was like, I don't care. You guys need to pay me more money. I'm beating cats. I'm beating everybody. Pay me more money. So, that was crazy. That's how that ended. Weidman was upset. He says he wants a rematch. He says he's going to take it to appeal to get it changed to a no contest, which he actually might. Have, he might, which he, which he actually might, because it wasn't illegal. It was called an illegal knee. Therefore, the fight. If the fight can't continue, the fight should have been stopped, and uh, Chris Weidman would have should have been declared winner. But that was also didn't happen because then Gegard could have uh, had to change. This thing was this. This thing was a shit show. It was a shit show. It was a disaster. Main event time. Let's move on to the main event. Anthony Rumble Johnson versus Daniel Cormway for the light heavyweight championship. Anthony Rumble Johnson did the exact, no, not did the exact same thing, but lost the exact same way that he did the first time, only quicker. Got choked out in the second round instead of the third. Rear naked choke. Cormier took his back. Just like what we thought was going to happen last time. Here's where it got crazy. Rumble tried to wrestle Cormier. Took him down a couple times. Yeah, but Cormier got back up. But why would you try to wrestle Cormier when he's better than you there? And you have such a clear advantage in the strike. It was, it was very weird. It was very weird. It was extremely weird. So then after that, Anthony Johnson retires. He says, I'm done. I'm walking away. I got other obligations. Everybody's rumoring that he has some position over with the NF, with the with the uh, with the St. Louis Rams, whether it be in the front office or something. They know, some people thought he was playing. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Even he thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, 
So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I love Anthony Johnson. I think he's a stand-up dude. Uh, I wish him all the best. Kind of strange. How I, it's really strange how all this is unfolding. But, hey, if you can make tons of money and not get punched in the face, power, more power to you. So, uh, nothing but love and respect for Anthony Johnson. He's been a stand-up fighter. Came up short when it was in the clutch, but uh, he's a good fighter, man. He's a really good fighter. Uh, Daniel Cormier. You gotta fight John Jones next, bro. You gotta fight John Jones next. As simple as that. Excuse me. Um, I mean, he's coming back in July. I don't care if it's at the middle of July or the end of July. You gotta fight John Jones next. All this talk about you fighting Jimmy Manawa, who's a good, good fighter. Much respect to Jimmy Manawa, not taking nothing away from him. You'll beat Jimmy Manawa. You'll beat Jimmy Manawa. You know you'll beat Jimmy Manawa. Jimmy Manawa knows that you'll beat him. He's not going to admit it, of course, but he wants that payday. But it has to be you and John. It has to be you and John. There's, now that Rumble's gone and you've beat Rumble twice, you and John are the only two competitors. Maybe you can finagle Ale Alexander Gustafson back in there, but it's you and John. And Daniel was talking big shit after the fight. Talking big shit. He's like, I don't care if people booing me, whatever, whatever. Champ, son, listen to the champs. And he was talking big shit. He's champ huge balls. <laughs> like my man Tommy Toho says. <laughs> He's champ huge balls. Uh, so, yeah. It was a good card. I'm not going to say it was a good card, but it, was, it wasn't boring. It was very eventful. So, um, yeah. We'll see what's next. Shouts out to my man DJ Demetrius Johnson, pound for pound best, Northwest, Northwest grown, up here from the Northwest, Tacoma, Parkland, right next door to each other, basically the same city. Shouts out to Demetrius Johnson, he's fighting this weekend, make sure to tune in to catch that, we will be talking about that. And as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, you will see 210 gets in there, but it wasn't boring, a lot of interesting things happen. Uh... So, until next time, you know how we do. Yeah. Peace. 100, y'all. Mr. Fine. Sweat box. Let's go. We celebrating on this one, baby. This is our celebration. Motivate a whole team like I'm Coach Boo.